welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, last weekend, my boyfriend and I took a couple of days off work. We took a long weekend up to the Adirondack Mountains. We live in New York State. Um, and I took a diamond painting with me. So I thought it would be fun and maybe helpful, hopefully helpful to some of you, um, to show you how I travel with diamond paintings. So it is coming up on summer holidays. I'm sure a lot of you are going away on vacations and like me do not want to leave your diamond paintings behind so i thought i would show you guys how i set everything up pack everything i need to travel um i apologize for the lawnmower sounds it's very nice out today so people are outside um so yeah let's get into this so i'll get back to this little piece here but i have this bag from craftably i have a couple others i have some from diamond art club you can pretty much find them anywhere. If Craftably still has this one, I will link it down below, but I love the sparkly glitteriness. So in here, I have everything I need except for the diamond painting. I don't actually <laughs> have it in here because I have finished it and I just filmed the post review, but everything I need is in here. So I have a storage container have another plastic container with all of my tools and then I have a light pad so this light pad in particular I have done a video on this is a rechargeable uh, a3 I believe and you do not need to be connected to the power obviously because it is rechargeable I don't use a light pad every time I diamond paint so my setup at home I have a lot of overhead lighting um, like side overhead lighting. It's just what I prefer when I diamond paint, but when I'm away, I don't necessarily know what I'm going to have access to. So I do like to bring a light pad because um, sometimes if you're in a dimmer lit area, it's nice to have that light coming from underneath your kit. So I do take a light pad and in my little toolkit here, I have the cord and I do not have my battery pack it's actually charging so I don't have that but I always take a cord and a rechargeable battery pack with me um that is the first thing and then I have a set of closable storage containers so I like to have containers contained in something larger I find that the harbor freights work perfect for me now, when I'm going away, I don't necessarily bring a full-size diamond painting. I am very particular with my Instagram feed. I like to take progress photos for you guys, and I like them to be in the same spot. So it's kind of just, I don't know, it just matches my feed. So when I go away, I like to take smaller kits because then I can show you like a start photo and an end photo. It's not like when I'm working on a massive like princess panel, like you wanna see that come together. Whereas a smaller kit, you kind of just get the gist of it when you see a start and a finish, at least that's how I feel. So normally I'm not taking anything with a bunch of colors. So this kit in particular had 23, no. Yes, 23 colors. And then I had an extra container for the trash drills, which was perfect. Um, so I do like to travel with the Harbor Freights. It fits perfectly into my little bag. And then that is my cat. <laughs> She's fine. And then I have this other little toolbox here where I keep everything else that I might need. So I have my trays. I have my washi tape. I have my pen and some tweezers. Sometimes I'll take an extra pen depending on how long I'm away, just in case something happens to that one. I have a cover minder. I have a little box cutter so I can cut my sections. Uh, something that I did forget to take away with me this time was actually a couple of release papers. Um, I like to have those to lay down on the sticky when I'm diamond painting in a certain area so my arm doesn't stick to the kit. So I did forget to bring those this time around, but I actually keep mine in a little passport holder. So I would just put that in there. I did forget it this time. I have some wax and some putty. I have a 
measuring tape, which I actually need to get another one of these that I can just leave in here because this is the one that sits on my desk. So the other day I could not find my measuring tape anywhere and then I realized it was still in here. So I do need to get another one. I have a couple of clips. These are sewing clips. I have um, a big container from Amazon and I just grabbed a couple. And then I have a little bag here of extra tips. Now I did end up using the extra seven placer that I took with me. Um, I snapped the other one while I was there. So that's why I bring extra tips. So I had an extra single, an extra four and an extra seven. And I did use the seven placer. And then again, this is just a little container. This actually came with um, those large square TikTok, TikTok, no. <laughs> those large square tic tac containers this is what they all came in so i just took the actual container and it's now my little toolbox um i have used the harbor freight containers before i've pulled all the little jars out and just used the large container but i like this one because it has a little handle on it um so that is what i keep in there and then there are two ways that you can choose to transport your diamond painting now when i went away this time um, I took a small 40 by 50 and all I did was I actually just rolled it up. I have the painting down here. So let me grab that. I rolled it up. I did this for the way there and the way back, which I did finish this kit while we were away. So I just rolled it up and then I took these little clips here and I clipped it. And then if I get everything back in the bag here, actually let me take these. This release paper holder is actually a little too thick. So I would just take a couple of release papers. I will put the light pad in. And then I will put both containers. And then I just took this diamond painting and I slid it in the side here and everything fit perfectly. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but this just slipped right into this little pocket here and everything was safe and secure. Now, if you're traveling with a larger diamond painting or you just don't want it to look like that, you could use a an artist tube. So this is one that I have from Craftably. I think I have two of these, but you can adjust the size and yeah, so you can make it pretty large and pretty small. So that 40 by 50 would have fit in here. I just decided I didn't want to mess with it, but I do recommend if you are traveling with a larger kit to definitely use an artist tube. This just screws off. You slide your kit in there and then you have a little handle. So that is how I travel with diamond painting. And I was really happy. Um, I actually love this bag. This is larger than the Diamond Art Club bag. So again, if they still have this available, I will link it down below. This is from Craftably. And everything just fit perfectly in here and it was safe and secure in the car. I was able to work on it and I came home with a finished diamond painting. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you found this helpful or if you have another way that you travel with your diamond paintings. Um, I pretty much always travel with one. Uh, in the summer, we go away just about every weekend. My boyfriend's family has a camp up north in the Adirondacks. So we're pretty much gone every weekend in the spring and summer. And I love my diamond paintings. I always have something to work on. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other ideas on how to travel with diamond paintings. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.